Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for you to be updated on the next videos. In order for us to determine whether or not a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, certain conditions must be met. The first condition is, if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. As you can see here in this figure, segment AD is congruent to segment BC, and segment AB is congruent to segment DC. As shown in this figure, segment AB is equal to 10 cm, then segment DC is also 10 cm. This mark shows that segment AB is congruent to segment DC. And also, segment AD is 9 cm, segment BC is also 9 cm. This mark shows that these sides are congruent. So, both sides must be congruent in order for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. Now, let us take a look at the second condition. If both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. As you can see in this figure, angle A is congruent to angle C, angle B is congruent to angle D. If angle A equals 105 degrees, then angle C must be 105 degrees also. If angle D is equal to 75 degrees, then angle B must be 75 degrees also. If this certain condition have met, then this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Now let us take a look at the third condition. If two consecutive angles are supplementary, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. For example, we have here a figure, a quadrilateral EFGH, with opposite angles are congruent. In this condition, two consecutive angles are supplementary, meaning to say, angle E plus angle F equals 180 degrees, and also, angle F plus angle G is equal to 180 degrees. Same as angle G plus angle H equals 180 degrees and angle H plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. 70 plus 110 is equal to 180 degrees. Then, this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Now, let us take a look at the fourth condition. If the diagonals bisect each other, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Bisect means dividing into two equal parts. As we can see in this figure, quadrilateral ABCD, we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram if diagonal BD bisects diagonal AC. We can say that we met this condition because as you can see, in diagonal AC, segment AF is congruent to segment FC. This mark shows that they are congruent. If segment AF equals 4 cm, then segment FC equals 4 cm. Same thing in diagonal BD. Segment DF is congruent to segment FB because as you can see, this mark shows that segment DF is equal to segment FB. If segment DF equals 7 cm, then segment FB equals 7 cm. If we satisfy these following conditions, then this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The last condition is, if the diagonal of a quadrilateral form two congruent triangles, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Let us take a look at this figure, quadrilateral DCBA. In diagonal AC, we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram if triangle CDA is congruent to triangle ABC. And also, in diagonal BD, we can say that this is a parallelogram if triangle CDB is congruent to triangle ABD. So, these are the conditions that should be determined to prove that quadrilateral are parallelograms. Let us try to determine if the quadrilateral must be a parallelogram. Justify your answer. We have here a quadrilateral. As you can see here, this angle is equal to this angle. This angle measures 73 degrees. Is this a parallelogram? Yes, because this angle is supplementary to both 
corresponding angles. By condition, consecutive angles are supplementary. 73 degrees plus 107 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 73 degrees plus 107 degrees is also 180 degrees. So, we met a certain condition, meaning that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Another one, is this a parallelogram? What do you think? No, because one pair of opposite angles are congruent, the other pair is not. The conditions for a parallelogram are not met. How about this one? Is this a parallelogram? Yes, the diagonal of the quadrilateral forms two triangles. This diagonal forms two congruent triangles. Two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of the other triangle. So the third pair of angles are congruent by the third angle. It means that this angle is also congruent to this angle. How about this one? Is this a parallelogram? No, because in this figure, two pairs of consecutive sides are congruent. None of the sets of conditions for a parallelogram are met. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye!